The International Congress of Basic Science got underway at Tsinghua University on Sunday. This event brought together domestic and international leaders and new talents in mathematics, theoretical physics, theoretical computer and information sciences for academic discussions and exchanges. Over 500 lectures and presentations will be held in a two-week period in an exchange of ideas of the highest caliber. The event is chaired by acclaimed mathematician Shen Tang Yao. He says he's delighted to have so many outstanding researchers gathering in Beijing. This year, many world-renowned scholars who have influenced the progress of science worldwide have won the award here. Basic science first requires truth, and secondly, pragmatism. We not only hope that it will promote academic research, but also expect it to be applied. However, only by seeking truth can there be applications. The prize that Shen Tong Yeo is referring to is the Basic Science Lifetime Award. It honors extraordinary scientists whose work has been outstanding and innovative, and who have, over the past 30 years or more, brought about fundamental change in their relevant disciplines. This year it went to six scientists, Andrew Wiles, Edward Witten, Alexei Kidaev, Andrew Chi Zhi Yao, Leslie Valian and Richard Hamilton for their pioneering work in quantum physics, modern mathematics, and artificial intelligence. Each of them received a portrait drawn by middle school students. Although this is called a lifetime award, it's not time to stop or relax. I look forward to new challenges and hopefully to new puzzles solved. The Congress also encourages young scholars to look to the frontiers of basic science and set goals to obtain breakthrough results. Over 130 academic papers from 20 countries and regions received the Frontiers of Science Award in 2024. I'm happy that there is this idea of giving many prizes and prizes uh, not only to individual mathematicians but to papers. I'm glad that plenty of people, including young people, get this award. Over the next two weeks, the second annual Congress aims to go further and achieve more than the inaugural event last year. It's all part of a vow by China's government to create a better and more open environment for international scientists to carry out cooperative research in fundamental sciences. Liu Jiaxin, CGTN, Beijing.